Okay, howdy everybody. Welcome, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm Vormithrax, and, uh, you know, we're doing stuff today. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's kick on the big Vormithrax. Hey, big Vormithrax. <clears throat> let's make you a little smaller. Ah, we'll leave you mid-size for now. Alrighty. hey yo, everyone. Ah, <laughs> uh, what to do today? I think, I think, I think we'll just, uh, we'll play some games. How about that? Let's play some games. Uh... Oh, Nightbot strikes again. <laughs> yeah, don't be too enthusiastic. <laughs> Nightbot doesn't like enthusiasm. <laughs> All right, uh, how to get started. So uh, if you're not aware, somehow, I don't know how you wouldn't be aware, but if you're not aware, uh, we're celebrating both my birthday, I'm uh, one year closer to the grave, and uh, we're also celebrating a channel anniversary. Uh, been about five years, five years of this nonsense. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to play video games on the internet. Uh, I'm probably going to switch between a bunch of different games as we go through uh, a couple hours each. We'll see. <laughs> it depends. I'll need to take a food break somewhere in the middle. Uh, but I plan to be on most of the rest of the day. So probably eight, ten hours or so with a, a break in there somewhere. Um, yeah. So let's, uh, let's get started, with, of course, with some cataclysm. Dark days ahead. What we're going to do, I have a world-created Sky Island 2. We're going to jump into Sky Island. A second look after it's had uh, pretty big updates. Pretty big updates. Uh, so we'll start with that. We'll do a quick Sky Island run to kind of check it out, get through hopefully a couple of up and down missions, uh, show some folks that maybe not seen this, what it's about. We did one previous visit of it, uh, which I didn't send over to my YouTube channel. I was kind of waiting for uh, a more interesting version to send over there. So hopefully this one will be more interesting. It's uh, had a number of important upgrades, and I'll link the... Uh, I guess I could do that now. There you go. If you're curious, there's the uh, the link to the Sky Island. So you, it's not part of the um, the default download currently. So you have to go grab it separately and drop it into the mods folder if you want to play with it. Um, it's interesting. We'll talk a little bit about what it does and how it works, and um, we'll give it some some try. And I got a stupid character. We're gonna try to send through it. So you know, it's always fun when I play stupid characters. Uh, the world itself is a default game world with the two exceptions: no NPCs, which is normal for me. And I put 30 days of evolution in just to make sure we have a few spicy uh, zombies that we show up uh, every once in a while. Otherwise, it's a default game world, which generally would be fairly easy for me. But um, with the Sky Island changes, we're going to play on the hardest settings they let us choose for Sky Island. And a um, uh, pretty dumb character. Eh, he's okay. He's okay. But uh, there's a gimmick to him. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, so, oops, nope, don't do that. Preset character and uh, the dude, the dude. Load the dude into Sky Island 2. All right, and hey, everybody in chat, thanks very much for the happy birthday wishes. Now old enough to consume alcohol? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Should I ever decide I need to consume alcohol? I've honestly never been a, an alcohol consumer. Pretty much never. <clears throat> yeah, happy birth day. <clears throat> that is correct. All right, so here he is, the dude. I was going to call this this character, uh, this run, Don't Worry, Be Happy. That's, that's what we're going to call this run. Don't Worry, Be Happy. <laughs> if I send it over to YouTube, that's what I'll title it. Uh, we're going to play the dude. We are unfortunately stuck in the Sky Island scenario. And uh, I took most all of the happiness generating uh, traits that I could think of. I couldn't take them all. I am playing the multi-pool restrictions. So I, I there were more that I could take uh, had I the points, but I didn't have the points. So, yeah, no, no stat increases, just 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. And uh, Black Belt generated most of these. 
And then with the remaining points, I just took every trait I could think of that would uh, give me resist or give me give me happiness bonuses. I haven't played a kind of morale focused run in a while, so I'm kind of curious what the status of that uh, that system is now. I know a number of the traits have undergone some modifications over the last couple of years, and um, we'll see just how happy we can be and maintain. So we're gonna be addiction resistant because you know we might we might partake we might. You know, right there. Uh, so we'll be addiction resistant for, for both painkillers and uh, recreational pharmaceuticals. Uh, gourmand, of course, so we can be really happy about the food we eat. Masochist, pain is glorious, and uh, we get happy when we get pain. Optimist, spiritual, we'll, we'll have to go find us a, a holy object to, uh, to really help out with our spiritual side. We're going to be stylish, so we're going to bling it up. And we're going to have a sweet tooth, so we're going to enjoy uh, the, the sweetie sweets even more than usual. Uh, so then we took an imperceptive healer, of course, for the eight points negative. Uh, rigid table manners, which restricts where I can eat to get a happiness bonus, but uh, we, we actually get happy if we do it. So uh, we'll take that because it's a negative that we can actually get a positive value out of. Uh, and then heavy sleeper and fast metabolism, just to kind of throw in the last couple of points I need to, for the minus 12. That we maxed out on. And uh, that's it. Uh, the only other thing we have is parkour. So we are going to get to pick a martial art. And I think I'm going to go with Krav Maga. I haven't done Krav Maga in quite a while. I think Krav Maga with some parkour and all the happiness stuff. I'm kind of curious what it'll do. Um, we have enough unarmed and uh, dodge to, to be fairly effective. So... We'll see what we can come up with. Uh, so I don't care about age and height anymore. They, they finally, finally <laughs> fixed the, uh, the broken stuff there. Um, otherwise, I think we're all set. Hey, Roguelike, thanks very much for the Prime Sub, a resub. Let's do, uh, let's do the thing, do the stuff. Then we'll talk about what's going on if you haven't seen this before. Are you sure you're finished? Yes, I am. No, no stats, do kills. Um, nah, no stats two kills on this one. We're going to play it fairly straight. And we're going to take Krav Maga. All right, so here we go. Welcome to Sky Islands. Here, you'll have to make expeditions from your floating sanctuary base to the world below. Fight your way to the exit within the time limit and bring back whatever you can carry. But if you die, you'll be returned to the island injured and lose all equipment you were carrying. While on expedition, you'll be timed by warp pulses, which hit you at regular intervals. After eight pulses, you'll suffer warp sickness, which results in reduced stats. Every pulse after that will lower your stats even further. And after the 12th pulse, you will also begin disintegrating, taking damage until you die. Get home safely to reset the timer. Now let's select your difficulty mode. So this is new. We didn't have a difficulty mode the last time we checked this out. It changes. The only thing it changes is the timer. So there are other changes later that we'll also see um, that will be important. But for now, we get to pick our difficulty. So we're going to pick the hardest difficulty. I'm just going to say no until we see hard. All right. In hard difficulty, time limits are strict. Warp pulses occur every 30 minutes. This means warp sickness sets in after only four hours of being Earthside. Disintegration at six hours. You'll have much less time to, to spare and must take make getting to the exit your immediate priority. Do you wish to play in hard difficulty? Yes. All right. So one of the first changes is all the garbage, <laughs> since everybody did what I did, all the garbage is now sitting right here next to the uh, start position. I think that's the garbage pile. That's the uh, the special items pile for the, you know, the, the, the mod. Uh, so this is our island sanctuary. We can do anything we want up here. We can uh, we can build whatever we can bring materials up for. Um, the statue here is how we get up and down. That's the warp obelisk. So if we touch it, we get teleported down to a random location on the game world. And then another exit portal is set up somewhere nearby. And our time limit is to reach that portal, touch it, which then brings us back up here. In addition, we to, to getting to the portal, there will be some secondary missions that are generated that we can go after. Uh, if we can complete them and then return to the portal, we get awarded warp shards, which we would use to, uh, to craft various things. So our crafting menu should have a warp section or something. <laughs> where, where is this thing? Is it in other? I think it's in other. 
Ah, so we have uh, we have a bunch of things here in the warp section. Uh, some of this. Oh, warp section. Uh, other. There we go. Other and warp. That's what I needed. All right. So these are extra things. As you can see, we have a warp animal, car animal carrier, excavator's bag, grass seeds, hauler's harness, lumberjack's bag, and scrapper's bag. Uh, and they cost a certain number of shards in order to craft these. And what these do basically is they're like bags of holding for certain material types so that you can get raw materials up to the, uh, the island. Uh, so the animal carrier is pretty obvious uh, what it's going to let you do. Bring up uh, cows or whatever else you want to bring up here to domesticate. Uh, excavator's bag, I assume, is for which types of things? Sand, gravel, clay, common stones... Um, handful of construction materials like raw limestone, cement, concrete, mortar. Refuses to be packed inside of other bags. Uh, yeah. So, you know, stones and stuff. Uh, I think this is for s uh, trees. Uh, nice option to replant grass in your island for decoration's sake. All right. Uh, hauler's harness. Which kind of things? No matter how you might try, uh, uh, seem to be able to support a single item. All right, so anything from it. So this is the same thing as if you were wielding like an engine block or such. Uh, it lets you do one thing. Uh, lumberjack is for wood products. Just for, just anything raw wood product: boards, planks, panels, sticks, beams, etc. Uh, so you can actually build some kind of a, a, a hovel or a building. Uh, and this one is, what, raw metal? Yeah, raw scrap steel. Um, all right. Pipes, sheet metal, steel frames, metal plating. So you get the idea. Each one of these lets you do one of those things. Hey there, Cape Cod native. Thanks very much for dropping some gift subs for everybody. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, so we can grow things on the island. We can haul things up to the island. But you got to have warp shards to do this stuff. So the hauler's harness, 10 warp shards. Then there's the other stuff, the auto dock copy plate. <laughs> 30 warp shards. And it'll let you drag an auto dock up with you. The stat stone. Activate to check your expedition statistics. Salve of Forgiveness. Uh, instantly heal your wounds and return you to health, but only while in your island sanctuary. And uh, I think it's five expeditions, and then this stops working. Uh, portal Storm Warding Stone. Uh, basically make portal storms go bye-bye. And uh, the Difficulty Adjuster. Let's you change how difficult you want your expedition time limits to be. Well, we don't want that. <laughs> You can do that anytime, apparently. Only requirements are being near the obelisk. Oh, for all of these. All right. So this is the way he's getting rid of portal storms. <clears throat> so they don't mess you up while you're up here on your, your island. I think this is supposed to be a um, temporary thing. All right. Uh, so we got options. We don't have any, any, any stuff. So let's go see what's in the pile here. Oh, one of each. All right. Make sure you know that they're available and they are things. So we're not going to worry about any of that. What do we have in the pile here? Sort category. Marbles, bubble wrap, a lighter with a few charges. I have no pockets. I have no pockets. <laughs> I got no pockets. Okay. We'll just why we'll just look then. Lighter, talking doll, some general random gobbledygook, a cardboard box. Do we still have a tent? Yeah, we do have a tent. Wheeled tent. Activate tent. Tent blocks line of sight. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, we don't need any of the rest of that. We can't carry anything. I could wield something. I don't know if any of this junk is uh, usable with Krav Maga. I'm going to assume no. 
Nah, we won't be taking anything with us. All right. Well, we don't really have a lot of options here, so we're going to touch the statue and go on our first expedition. It'll teleport us down. I start very hungry. <laughs> what? Uh, is that part of the being a gourmand or something? <laughs> that you start off with a, a hungry status? That must be something gourmand related. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's a pretty tall tent, all right. Oh, I guess I should make Vormithrax a little smaller now that we're actually playing. Let's judge my size based on uh, this thingy here. Try to park myself kind of in the middle of it. There we go. All right, so once again, uh, there's our character. It's a uh, don't worry, be happy character called the dude. Uh, I've stacked up as many of the be happy traits as possible. Other than that, parkour and Krav Maga. That's what we got. Standard world with a little bit of evolution built into it. And uh, the hardest mode for Sky Islands. Um, let's go. Let's see what happens. Begin searching for a spot to teleport to. This may take a moment while we scan the world. Your game may appear to freeze for up to a few minutes, <laughs> especially for your first expedition. Yes, sirree. <clears throat> I have the spinny blue circle. You cannot. You have no control over where it teleports you. It's almost guaranteed every every time you teleport will be a completely new area and you will not be able to connect to a previous area. Now, there are small chances I've read that you might get close enough to another area, but with the time frame I've got set on hard mode, I really doubt I'll ever be able to get to another area I visited previously. We'd have to have a pretty odd, random confluence of, of events in order for us to end up near somewhere previously. So it's pretty much always a one-way trip. That's a big part of uh, the Sky Islands. Is it's, it's one way each time. You have to make critical decisions on getting to the gate is the first major priority. And then what you can gather along the way and what missions you can complete with the time you have is is kind of the, the balancing act that you have to play with. All right, you've arrived. Press a key when ready, and random missions will be generated for this expedition. So this is another change. The last time we tried it, there was just one random mission. It just picked a, lo excuse me, picked a populated location nearby and said, go here and either get this or kill this, I think. Now there's a medley. I think you get three or four mission points. But let's see what happens. Okay, I assume it uh, generated. So, kill 10 zombies this expedition. That's one of our missions. Zombies have absorbed latent energies, which must be released into the stream of warp once more. Kill at least 10 zombified humans or creatures before returning your to your sanctuary for bonus warp shards. Find the warp shards. A very small cluster of warp energy has left shards behind at this location. All you need to do is find and retrieve them. There may be threats nearby, but unlike most tasks, no special guards are on site. Minimal reward, but little risk. Kill the warp draining horde. Kill a horde of low-level zombies are congregating at a location where warp resonance is high. Clear them out for a small warp reward. Reach an exit point. I'm not sure why it's got it doubled up. <clears throat> Do I actually have two exit points? There's two different target locations. Huh. Is there any particular difference other than... It doesn't seem to be a difference. All right, whatever. Uh, so kill a horde, kill 10 zombies. For our first trip, I'm not sure if we're going to get <clears throat> kill a bunch of zombies accomplished. Uh, we'll kind of see. Take a look at our map. Well, uh, wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Are they both up in the same direction? Uh, where's the pointer? It's even further? Oh, wow. Even further. All right. 
That seems farther than the last time. Just on the base distance to the uh, the first exit point. Go back to that one. Um, this must be one of the alternates. There's another alternate. We're absolutely not going in the opposite direction of our <laughs> of our mission in order to uh, complete a secondary. All right, I need to identify what that other one is. Please tell me it's find the warp shards. It looks like it is. All right. So we'll focus on trying to get the find the warp shards and then the exit. I'm not going to worry over much about killing hordes or going in the opposite direction. We might have gotten lucky with a light industry nearby if it's uh, non-occupied, which a fair percentage of these have no enemies. All right, here we are in our, our black belt and our gi and our boxer shorts. Uh, we got no carry capacity, so even if there is stuff at the uh, light industry, I'm going to have to get super lucky with a backpack near... There's commonly a carrying object near the vending machines on one of the sides. Um, I don't know how traditional or how set that is. We'll find out. I don't have any idea of the actual math or distinction involved in how it determines where to put you down. Is there flight in CDDA? There is, but you have to start with the um, pilot trait in order to fly something. You can't just jump into one and fly away. So you have to plan on it from uh, character gen. I don't think did they have they put a flight manual in game yet? I don't think they have. How long do you have to get back to the island before the negative effects start piling up? Four hours under my current. I think it's four hours for the soft cap. At which point we start getting serious negatives applied to us. Six hours is when we start disintegrating. This is on the hardest difficulty level. All right, so we will go peek at the uh, the light industry. We're going to hope it's empty and then hope that it uh, has a carry capacity item for me. If it has it, the carry capacity item is usually right, right, right in here. There's some vending machines, and I commonly see a backpack or a bag right in this area. I don't know if that's always set that way or if I've just gotten weirdly lucky. All right, so we fully materialized into the plane. We're no longer invisible. You get a grace period. Looks like we got an empty one. We got lucky in the first regard. Nothing there. No books there. No books there. Wow. Where are all the things? <laughs> Where's all the things? What the hell, man? Current world. Spawn rate. Item spawn rate. Why is this place so freaking empty? That's weird. Another jacket will give us some pockets, minor pockets. Unfortunately, we didn't get any carry capacity item other than the jacket. Huh. Well, we gotta wear that. There's the vending machines I was talking about. So this is the spot where I commonly see a backpacker bag. Yeah, where those, where's all the stuff? So, a wrench. Which we can't even fit a wrench in our pocket. Man, can we put a flashlight in? Not even that. This is going to be rough. Jackhammer. Welding tank. It still seems pretty light on the uh, amount of items. Okay, we got the van. Is the van operational? The van is operational. We have a working van. Cool. So we've got wheels. We've got gas. We've got a battery. We've got an engine with no faults. Broken security system. It is drivable. So that's good. And we can put items in there until I get some ability to carry. 
The clothing in here. Absolutely nothing. Acetylene torch. Hey, a headlamp. Awesome. Well, I don't need that. Here we go again. <laughs> as soon as I put on the headlamp. It's weird when these things show up. So my footwear is now going to slow me down 4%. I didn't look ahead. I don't remember. Did it say ahead of time that I was uncomfortable or did that just appear? Because I think I would have noticed. I had the same issue last night during the stream. Um, all right, nothing super exciting. I mean, good stuff here. I'd love to have, but I also have to plan out what I want to accumulate for this first trip. We need to get certain materials up to the island. Man, a lot of nothing. Hey, briefcase. We'll actually wear briefcase. We'll be able to carry a little bit with that. Ah, do I switch to rubber boots? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this place is weirdly empty for a 1.0 world. What would I like to take with me? Um, we got a working vehicle, so we're going to have some options. Do I take the jackhammer? Not sure I'm going to worry about trying to get a metalworking shop set up initially. Saving game in the middle of dragging. Either Slater. <clears throat> Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, the mod's been updated since the last time I took a look at it. How and when did you actually come upon CDDA? Uh, my my dim memory of my first contact with CDDA was, I believe. Uh, stream, uh, well, video on YouTube of a stream uh, by Quill. Uh, pretty sure that was where I first saw it. I believe I saw it from Quill, got interested, and uh, back then, about the only other uh, resource or YouTube reference I could see was uh, Rikon. He had a fair bit of stuff, but it was all, I mean, you, you know, if you know Rikon, you know his stuff. It's not like it's tutorial stuff. You have to watch <laughs> all of it in order to hopefully pick up info on what you want. And that's kind of what we got me started on the whole process of uh, streaming and doing tutorial stuff for Cataclysm. Because I was trying to learn the game and there was no damn resources to do that. Uh, so I started creating tutorial content and um, putting it up on YouTube and then live streaming it on Twitch and all that good stuff. So that is how. <clears throat> you probably have after many thousands of hours if you try to inner woods. Yeah, I hate inner woods. <laughs> it's boring, boring, boring. So I have no interest in inner woods. <clears throat> the problem with inner woods is it removes 95% of the game content. Because you don't get exposure to the huge medley of items, weapons, uh, mutations, cybernetics, enemies, uh, sites, locations. It's just It just chops out 95% of the content of the game. And what you're left with is rote memorization of 
where to get raw materials, certain raw materials, and the specific progression of recipes. As soon as you have that knowledge, it's no longer interesting or entertaining or any difficulty whatsoever. It's, it's, it's all there is to it. Know what items you need, know where the raw, raw materials are to get them, and what order you do them in, and you're done. I have no interest in that. <laughs> it just doesn't do anything for me. Rykon can get away with it because he's much more storytelling, role-playing uh, aspect. That's not that's not what I do. <laughs> so I'm a much more do it for the the crunchy combat strategy management bits. Uh, I'm a more technical player, and I do it live in hard mode, Iron Man mode on the internet in front of a live audience. Um, so I can't really get away with it. I would get insanely instantly bored. You guys would not enjoy watching me try to do that. <laughs> so no, no in the woods from Vormithrax. All right. Oh yeah. Climb that obstacle. Move those items. Stick them in the truck. No reason not to. Uh, I don't have a hammer yet. I can't open these crates unless I get to crafting or something. We've already wasted uh, too much time. I don't even have a watch. I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> got to solve that problem. The vehicle will have a clock. Let's look in the vehicle. As soon as I step in, it should tell me the time. Ah. It's not telling me the time. Hmm. All right. Well, usually it does. Apparently we don't have a clock inside uh, the vehicle here. Nope. Bad vehicle. Let's go get the few other items. All right, wrench, not a steel frame. Um, three of those, huh? Unload that jackhammer. Not going to let me transfer directly from one to the other. Hmm. Eh, screw it. Just take it all. Not like we're going to be able to keep the vehicle anyway. Um, I think we're done here, unfortunately. Absolutely nothing but a glass jar. Let's take the gallon jug. I'm probably going to have to wield that. There's no water source here. No water heater. Okay. Well, we're going north. What is the end goal for the challenge? Uh, when I decide we're going to stop and play something else. <laughs> This isn't a we're going to play it all day challenge or a we're going to continue it at another time challenge. This is a let's just poke at Sky Islands for a little bit. 
<laughs> so the end goal will be Vorm's board. Let's start again. Not really bored. I'll, we'll play it for a few hours. Um, but I want to play a medley of games today. So we're going to be jumping around between Cataclysm and... What else have I got on my desktop? Cataclysm and uh, I want to I want to revisit Cogmind. We're going to jump back into Cogmind and I'll die horribly because I don't remember how to play it. Um, some Stalker Gamma where I'll just go go dive into a horrible place and get shot to death uh, horribly. Uh, some Dwarf Romantic and maybe a quick round of Slice and Dice. We'll see. I got a few things on my desktop. That might take requests. I'm going uh, to be streaming all day long, so. <clears throat> no, that's gasoline. That's guzzoline. We're leaking guzzoline out of one of the tanks, but there's only 0.1 liters. I looked at that just a bit ago, so. These little asterisks indicate that because of the damage to the tank, these are this is leaking. But there's so little left, I don't care. <laughs> so. So that's what we're leaking back there. That is uh, guzzoline. You can actually highlight it and it'll tell you it's gasoline. All right, north is the direction we want to go. Let's get moving. Uh, what you got in the front seat there? So I'll try to keep this thing moving. Gum. Do I get a bonus from chewing gum? <laughs> Eat gum. Do we have a stereo? We do have a stereo. Let's listen to some music. So this character is the dude, AKA don't worry, be happy. We're gonna try to maximize our morale every way I can think of and or every way you guys recommend uh, cause I haven't done a morale heavy run in a while. I'm under stimulants. My gum is stimulating. Can I drag the vehicle to the island? Uh, I can't. I can't wheel the pick up the vehicle, unfortunately. And there wouldn't be any reason to anyway. Hey, my bestest new buddy, Giant Stag Beetle. Hey, buddy. I love Giant Stag Beetles. Be friendly with your Giant Stag Beetles. They'll kill a lot of zombies for you. They're not very hostile to the player, but they are really hostile to the zombies. And they'll do a good job killing them for you. Hey, Rural House is a good find for us at this point. I saw something red up here. Was that the... Was that the stag beetle? I lost the conduct. Teacher, leave them alone. How did I lose the contact like that? Hmm. I don't need no vehicle skill. Turn that stupid thing off. Uh, you didn't leave the door open. That means we're going to have to break a window. What do we got? Look at the goodies. Sewing kit. A quilt. So that'll be our blanket. We'll see if there's a regular blanket somewhere. Um, Toastums. What else? What else? That's just canned tomatoes. Brown bread. Uh, let's eat the fruit, eat the pasta, eat the dehydrated veggies, and we'll take brown bread. Candle, yes. So, let's see. We're going to have to make a pile. Let's just make a pile. We'll empty those out. We want that. Might need a bag. Take a garbage bag and wield it and I can carry more stuff temporarily. <laughs> garg. Garg. I'm trying to wield a garg. All right, try this again. Give me the frying pan. We'll unload the battery for the flashlights. Give me the marker. Um, don't need the pliers. Give me the frying pan. The knife. Oh, 
Okay, what's the what's the king here? So I believe with Krav Maga, we've got a lot of options for, for weapons. Carving knife, chef knife, pretty much all the knives. Stick knife, stone knife, survival knife. I don't know uh, offhand which one is the superior weapon here. 22 butchering with uh, 18 pierce minus 172. That's pretty good. 25 butchering with 16 6 at 88. Not the paring knife, not the steak knife. So we're we going with the meat cleaver. Meat cleaver does not work with the martial arts. Whereas carving knife does. I'm not going to do any butchering, so I don't really care about that part. <laughs> I just want something to work with Krav Maga. So I think carving knife is what we're going to go with. Uh, mortar and pestle. We'll need eventually, but do I want to carry it up now? And do we take a pot, or is there... I can't remember the difference between the pot and the steel frying pan. Eat up food. 2112... 2113. So pot is technically better from a purely cooking standpoint. Alright, get rid of that. Give me the pot. Now we're talking. So we got pillow. Nothing good there. Leather pants. Ooh, thermal electric suit. Do we go with the leather pants unfitted? Hmm. Ooh, motorcycle jeans. Goodbye, leather pants. <coughs> Fitted motorcycle jeans. And some mittens. Uh oh. They locked the bathroom. MP3 player. No, no window. Means I'm gonna have to smash it down. Uh, we do want in there because we want. All right, let's uh, drop the garbage bag. Wield a stick. Am I strong enough? Eight strength and a stick. Lucky the wall didn't come down. Need a towel. Doo -doo -doo. Wow, nothing else. That kind of sucks. Take some soap. No meds of any kind. Unfortunately, that is it. Let's uh, fill up our... <laughs> fill the water heater with pudding. It's empty? It's empty. Man. Alright, I guess that's all we'll grab. Bottle jack, some duct tape. I don't need a wheel, but we got plenty of cargo space for now, so I guess I won't worry too much about it. Um, do, do, do. Shorts, briefcase, headlamp. Hmm. So far, one. Thought I had more than that. Ooh. 
Go away, cardboard boxes. Oh, that's better. Hey, Windscale, thanks very much. Gift subs. <laughs> Fill it with pudding so I can take a pudding shower later? Ah, we'll hold off on that. All right, pillow on the driver's seat for now. Uh, wasn't there a quilt over here? Did I take the quilt? Am I misremembering the quilt? Or did I grab it? Hmm. Where was the quilt? I was pretty sure it was in here. Zombie dog treat! Uh oh. All right. One second. I guess we can just grab the that quilt. That's not the one I was thinking of. But oh, I had it in my inventory. <laughs> Goodbye, you. All right. So we've got a pillow. We've got a blanket that so we can throw into our tent up on our island so we can sleep. Um, we still need more hydration. And we're such limited amounts of uh, carry capacity right now. Uh, ooh, I need to go get a uh, rubber hose. What was I thinking? for now. Saving game. <clears throat> Hurry up. Whoa. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Did a bad... No gasoline. All right, let's uh, let's get the uh, zombie dog treat going. We'll do a uh, big zombie dog. Good job, zombie dog. <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, we're we're playing the Sky Islands mod, so we're on a timer for uh, when we're gonna have to make it back. You're fresh from your stay at the Sanctuary Island. The intangible miasma of terra firma currently has no effect on you, and you feel fine. This should last for several hours. Stay too long, however, and you'll gradually begin to suffer ever worsening, debilitating effects. We got four hours, basically. That's when the bad stuff starts happening. So we're 38 minutes in already. I guess that's one way I can tell what time it is. <laughs> so we got a trailhead ahead of us. There might be a vehicle there we can gas up from. Otherwise, we're going to have to turn around. So our first target is this location where we're supposed to be able to find some warp shards. And then our exit location is this one. Or if I'm feeling extra saucy, I can go for the alternate exit, which is even further away. We're going to try to keep it simple on this first trip, though. We're just going to try to gather some general raw materials 
and uh, grab some warp shards and then head out. We're not gonna we're not gonna push our luck too much. There is no vehicle at the trailhead. All right. How much guzzling do we have? Two point three. Let's go this way, of course. Uh-oh. Prisoners. Prisoner escape. Hmm. Would love to kill some cop zombies and get some gear from them. But not when there's so many of them in one spot. Well, I guess I could just run, run them over. You know that kill 10 zombies thing? <laughs> Running them over will accomplish that. Uh, do I do it this early, though, and risk having the vehicle break down? I better not. We'll be able to run them over anywhere. But they are cop zombies. We could get guns. We could get armor. Hmm. How's the front of the vehicle look? Mm, not terrible. The frame in the driver's position is in pretty good shape. Hmm. Hmm. And, ooh, a mine. They're even easier to kill. We're going to siphon gas through the wing mirror of my, my truck. There's some buffoon... Oh, <laughs> the double up of the uh, tiles. I was standing in the doorway. I am the buffoon that was blocking the door. Zapper zombie. Okay, we've got probably more than I'll be able to use before uh, we have to exit. Gasoline's no longer a big problem. Um, <laughs> backup beepers. Let's see. What do you guys have in the garage area here? A rubber hose. Ooh. Ah, too bad that toolbox is only two items. Uh, wouldn't mind the first aid kit. That's a full first aid kit. Can we drive around this thing? We can. All right. Let's uh, do some horn honking. I'll pull these guys out from the side of the building there. And we will we'll be Trixie. Uh oh. I can climb the fence with my garbage bag, huh? Cool. A hammer. We'll take it. And give me that and that and that. That's pretty much it. Keep moving. Oh, they're 
goes something. Wasn't my wing mirror. Oh, it was the windshield right in front of me. <laughs> uh, these would probably be the easiest guys to run over. Maybe we can do it in reverse. Then they'll get in the vehicle with me, I'm sure. And then I'll end up having to run away. Um, We better not. So we're not too far off from the warp shard location, theoretically. Soldier body site would be nice right about now. Some airdrop crates. I got the hammer now so we can open the crates. Another mine <laughs> right next to our exit point or a warp shard point. Uh, yeah. We even got bees nearby to kill everything for me. Too bad the miners don't really have anything I care about. Police vehicle might have goodies in the back of that vehicle. More likely to be. More likely to be the uh, standard lug wrench and such. Yeah. All right, let's go uh, locate our warp shards. That must be them. One! It's one warp shard! That's unfortunate. Alright, let's go back to the road and hope there's one that leads us north before I make a beeline straight for the exit point. Don't forget the Z9 treat. Uh, what? <laughs> we already did the zombie dog treat. Did you miss the zombie dog treat? Because I, I did it. <laughs> you must have stepped away or something. <laughs> yeah, we're playing the... Uh... We're playing the dude. We're the dude. With all the, well, not all, but uh, a, a good percentage of all the uh, don't worry, be happy traits. We're going to try to optimize morale. We're just going to be happy. We're going to roll around and be a happy dude. And, uh, you know, karate chop stuff. I'm hoping we can get two or three trips up and down uh, before I call it. We're kind of just testing the uh, the updated Sky Islands. Whoa, this is the community. Yeah, this is the mobile home community. I've never actually visited this and taken a look at it yet. We've seen it on the map. Ha, <laughs> there's a wasp nest home. Goodbye, all you poor people. 